one of the more disparate pop-out shootouts we've done in recent years, in which Audi's new four-wheel drive 306 bhp S3 takes on the slightly more civilised Sportline version of our current champ, the Honda Civic Type R, and a new dual-clutch version of Hyundai's already excellent i30N. The Audi is the most expensive at £38,415. The Honda and Hyundai both costing around three grand less. The Honda, however, is the most powerful and weighs the least, so it should still be the quickest. But the Audi's four-wheel drive system will definitely give it an advantage around here, as will the i30's new eight-speed dual-clutch gearbox. Hyundai first then, Let's see how they go against one another. They really have got their act together with Hyundai's N Division. Everything they touch just seems to turn to gold. The first i30N, absolute peach. And considering it was their first effort, mad how good that car is. How good this car is. But, you know, I think they've made it even better with this DCT gearbox. You can tell where they've developed it for whom they've developed it. Anyway, our lap time starts there. It feels quite, quite heavy under brakes into there, compared with other stuff that I remember. And a little bit front end heavy through there, but it really hangs on nicely out onto the back straight, up into fourth, at the flick of his fingers. Oh, it's quick in a straight line, this thing. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of mass that wants to change direction there. It's good, but it's not awesome. And same into here as well, actually. The diff on this thing's very clever, but you can hear those front tyres being absolutely murdered. And the lap time stops there. 47.1, that's, that's, yeah, that's a quick lap time. But I think that's beatable. I reckon the Civic will, will spank that time, but the interesting thing is whether the Audi can get close to it or even beat it, I don't know. I'm sounding slightly underwhelmed. I'm not underwhelmed by the i30 and DCT. It is a cracking car, but it's just purely the numbers that have come up there. I actually thought it would be faster than, than that. I thought it might be half a second to a second faster than that. But there you go, you can't argue with the numbers. I've done several laps and that's the best lap time, 47.1. Let's see if the others can beat it. In truth, we expected a little bit more from the new i30 NDCT. But then as they say, the stopwatch never lies. Audi next then, could the S3 set a time to at least worry the mighty Civic Type R? Wing, or no wing. So even though it's bright blue, I think the S3 could be the dark horse in this group. And on the move, it feels very tidy. Not, it's not kind of grabby by the throat and make you go into ecstasy about how wonderfully dynamic and sporting it is. But it is deceptive, it's effective. It feels flipping quick. Let's find out exactly how quick in a sec when we start the lap. Rolls a bit there. Starting there. Oh, it does feel pretty rapid in a straight line. Need a fair bit of space to slow down. Turns in through there well and the four-wheel drive system just fires it out of there. That's nice. A little dab on the brakes and it brought the tail round. Oh dear, no, that's not good. That is not good at all, the way it washes wide into near terminal understeer there. Breaking for this quick chicane. Whoa, need Yeah, you see, it just ultimately wants to kind of fall over itself at both ends, unfortunately, and through here. There's your lap time, blimey. There you go, it feels 
curiously undramatic in the way it does stuff, other than the fact that it understeers ultimately, which isn't pleasant, but it's quite fast against the clock. 46.3 seconds. Mmm, that's quite fast. It's faster than the Hyundai, which I absolutely did not expect. Okay, it's more expensive, but I thought the Hyundai would take care of this. Anyway, the question that now needs answering is can the Civic Type R Sportline, a little bit softer than the previous generations, can it go better still? I think I know what the answer is going to be, but let's find out. The S3 was deceptively rapid around Landau, setting a time of 46.3 seconds even though it didn't feel as exciting as the Hyundai in the process. But unless the Sportline version of the Civic Type R has taken a big step down the ladder against the clock, it was still the red-hot favourite to take this one. It doesn't feel that much different to the Civic Type R GTs that we know and love, especially around here. Does the Sportline there's no wing at the back, so you can actually see quite a lot more out of the rear window. But beyond that, it really does feel the same. Fantastic car, 316 horsepower, 400 and something newton metres of torque, and only 1,400 and a bit kilograms. It's a rocket ship, we know that. The lap starts there. <laughs> it just always feels so quick in a straight line, the Civic but then you come to the braking and it's like that. It's so alert. These Pilot Sport 4S's work an absolute treat around here, I have to say. Wow, wow. This car is so quick and capable and brilliant. It's so much faster than the other two through there. It just feels a flipping racing car this thing. Miles better through that bottom corner. Oh. I mean there's your lap time. What is it? So that's done 45.7. Audi did 46.3 so that's six tenths which sounds nothing but this is a really short lap. That's a that's a big difference around here. And then 47.1 for the so 45 seven, yeah, it's nearly a second and a half quicker than the Hyundai around here. That's chalk and cheese. And I know the i30N is a great car. It's a really good one with the with the dual touch gearbox as well, but it cannot hold a candle to this thing. This thing is immense. And I don't think the fact that they've put smaller wheels on it and taken the wing off the back has made any difference to how it feels from here, other than the fact that it does feel just a touch softer, which is basically even better still. Your winner. So there you go, the Sportline version of the Civic Type R wasn't just as quick as the regular bewinged model outright, but it was still within a tenth of it. And if anything, it felt even sweeter to drive because it was that little bit softer over Flandau's bumps. Either way, it was still quick enough to comprehensively beat the more expensive Audi S3 and positively demolish the similarly priced Hyundai DCT. So look, whatever else happens in this life and during these increasingly strange times, one thing remains a constant. The Civic Type R is still king hot hatch. The end. Click on our logo to subscribe and watch more track battles like this. And in the meantime, stay safe and keep smiling.